Hello everybody, Sajin here. So today I wanted to do a review of another Torchlighter DVD. And uh, today it's going to be about uh, Richard Warmbrand. So um, he, is a, a he was a Romanian um, minister. And um, he and his wife, um, Sabina Warmbrand, they're the founders of the Voice of the Martyrs uh, organization. It is a um, organization to help um, imprisoned Christians, persecuted Christians around the world, like in China and other nations where um, people of faith are persecuted. And uh, they're also the organization behind the Torchlighter DVD series, and uh, I have a lot of respect for them. So, in a nutshell, the story, their story, is uh, in Romania, I believe. Um, there was a time when uh, the communist regime uh, took over and um, it was a very dark time. There, were, uh, there was a, a meeting where uh, many Christian ministers um, were basically uh, saying that we will support the communist regime and uh, we are uh, comrades. And um, so he and his wife... Uh, his wife was saying, how can you let um, such a disgrace take place? And then he also felt the same way. So he stood up at that meeting and said that communism is wrong and that um, he will never bow down to them, basically something like that. And actually because of that, he was marked by the communist regime. He was imprisoned and tortured. And also his wife was uh, sent to a, uh, a labor camp. His also, And um, his son was, of course, they, well, his son was put in the school for, to basically indoctrinate um, the children in the communist ideologies. But the amazing thing is that they all persevered and then uh, eventually they were um, and they never never backed down they never um, lost their faith they kept their faith and then eventually they were reunited his son uh, I believe was be followed in his father's footsteps and um, also he and his um, Richard Warmbrand he became um, he really testified how he was, uh, the horrible treatment that he went, underwent um, in prison. And that became a great testimony for many. And um, so I really like this story a lot because really right now in America, the threat of communism is becoming very real. And um, it's sad to say that even people of relig people that believe say they believe in God are so accepting accepting of just uh, the communist ideology even like Black Lives Matter they say that they're clearly a Marxist organization but people still support them which really baffles me most likely I feel that just um, people will be used their anger will be used to further communist ideologies and in the end will not help anyone. So I, I'll never support Black Lives Matter and I'll never support the Democratic Party which is leaning now farly to the left. I think it is getting very close to becoming an evil party. Anyway, so um, <clears throat> my main message is that even though there may not be hope, I think this is the time that really God challenges um, people of faith the most in these troublesome times. And so this is a time for people of faith to really stand strong and keep on, keep on believing, keep on voicing uh, what we believe is right. And I think God can work through that. So, um, I really recommend the Richard Warmbrand story, especially in these 
in these times, which can be very challenging for many pe people of religion. So, God bless everybody and take care. Bye-bye.